Here we go. Perfect summer yarn. It's on. Okay, we're ready with you. <clears throat> no, that was it. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Off Our Needles. We are the Grocery Girls. I'm Tracy. I'm Jody. And today we're talking about perfect summer yarns. I mean, I get in a rut. I mean, it's always merino. It's yeah. always, you know, um, the heavier maybe yarns that we don't really want to knit within the summer. And I think you can have a favorite pattern that you knit in one fiber in the summer or in the yeah. winter, and then you completely choose a different fiber for the summer. Like I can pick a couple of shawls that I know I wear faithfully throughout the winter because yes. they're in my favorite colors. I miss them in the summer. Yeah. So I would love to be able to knit them in like a silk or a linen. We have beautiful cotton. Yeah, so we're gonna show you guys some beautiful yeah. summer patterns and talk about all the beautiful summer choices you could be making in your yarn selections. And as well, if you're finding that a little bit, you know, scary, we've got an amazing ebook download called Choosing the Perfect Yarn Every Time. So yeah. it really helps you. It's like a little little workshop to help you know the fibers and give you more information as far as choosing a yarn for your project. We're also going to have favorite things. Which is my favorite. Yeah. I love it. And today is so exciting. We have a guest in studio yeah. for Fiber Academy which is dyeing. We're doing drip dyeing our own yarn right here. I know, and we get to show you the big reveal at the oh, end. Oh, you guys are gonna die. You're just yeah. gonna love our yarns. And I've got a beautiful shawl that I'm gonna show you a special stitch in it. So we're gonna have flip this stitch today too. You guys have so much good stuff today. You won't believe the yarn she's used. It's a new tippy top of my favorite yeah. as far as yarns go. Yeah, we're gonna make you fall in love with cotton today. You're gonna love it. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about the Over the Sea Disguise Shawl designed by Kalura Hudson. And in that pattern, there's something called the Special Stitch. And I'm going to be showing that to you guys today. It's called the Special Stitch? It's called Special Stitch. And it is a little bit, it's different. I hadn't done it before. This pattern okay. the only time I'd seen it. Okay. It's very simple though. So show me on the shawl where we're talking. Yeah, you, you're going to be doing it along this edge of the shawl. Okay. And what it does is you're doing a knit two together, which makes a right leaning, um, decrease okay but we don't want to change the stitch count of our shawl so we're actually going to go in the back and do uh, a knit through the back loop as well all in the same action without taking your stitch off the needle fancy yeah pants. easy my swatch is showing you the lace section of your shawl and now we're at the last two stitches that are going to become our special stitch we want this side of our shawl to have a right leaning slant which normally means a knit two together but we also don't want to change our stitch count in the shawl so this is where the special stitch comes in the first action in the special stitch is where we just knit two together, and that's for the right-leaning slant of our shawl. But don't take the stitch off the needle yet, because we have a second part. It's where we knit in the back loop of this same stitch. Make sure you get your needle through both of those strands. Come around. And now you've still got two stitches. You have not changed the stitch count on your shawl. That's what we want. So that was really easy, don't you think? It was easy. It is identical to, I always think of it as if a knit two together and a knit in front and back had a baby. You're doing both of those things in the same stitch. You're so funny. Right? Totally. So you're knitting two together yes. and then you're gonna go in the back loop and you're gonna knit again because you still want yeah. two stitches when you're done. So it's, it's simple. So simple. Very effective and easy and it really oh. does make that edge of your shawl gorgeous. It's worth it, you guys. Yeah, that's the flip this stitch for the Over the Sea to Sky Shawl. <laughs> We've got lots of really wonderful summer yarny things to talk about it today. It is a yarny favorite thing. It's very, very yarny. One of the first things I wanted to talk about was this beautiful summer yarn that I think is an amazing combination of fiber and it's yeah. luxurious and I didn't know really much about this one. This is uh, a Manos del Uruguay yarn called Serena. We've been a Manos fan for years. I'm a giant fan yeah. of the company. I think their, their yarns are beautiful, their colors are beautiful. And this one is very interesting to me because it's an alpaca Pima cotton blend. Yeah. It's baby alpaca and Pima cotton. So really, yeah. really beautiful, high quality of both, both fibers. And I right. think that's a really interesting blend for summer. In the past, I've heard a lot of people talk about, I hate knitting with cotton. I know. Why is that? And you know, I have to say, I might be guilty of being one of those people, but you, I've learned, you can't make a blanket yeah. statement like that. There's such a variety in the quality of the fibers 
available. I agree. Like we said, we wanted to show you guys some different options on, um, you know, substituting different fibers mm. in your summer knitting. And I have to say, this tag. It's like a little mini well, info sheet. It's really personal. This yarn and this company, every skein you get is hand dyed. Yeah. And it's uh, Manos employs women in several co-ops in yeah. South America. And they actually write the name of the co-op and the lady that dyed the yarn. You can find that on every tag yeah. of Manos yarn. And I so I that. think that's, you know, all the way, you know, for us, that's halfway around the world. Yeah. That this has come from, you know, one yarn loving woman to another. I. I really love that. But this is a really light fiber, light yeah. and soft. And the colors, come on, I can't even get over the colors. So, yeah, so when I feel something like this, and it's like, I'm not sure why everyone's not knitting yeah. with and cotton. And this is, this is actually 40%. Boy, does it feel, it's funny. If somebody said, feel this yarn and tell me what fiber it is, I think I could have guessed the alpaca part. I definitely would not have guessed the cotton part. So it's light and beautiful, and I can see summer garments knit in this, yeah. shawls knit in this. Yeah. This is definitely, definitely one of my favorite things for summer. Our next favorite thing is the professional yarn dyeing at home class with Sarah Eyre. Professional hand dyeing yarn at home is the very first Craftsy class I watched months is and it? months ago. It is, and it was pre-off our needles. Well, that's really, really cool that, yeah. you, that you did that. And so how did, you, how did you like it? I felt like I could be a professional yarn dyer. Right, by the end of the time you're done watching, that's it, done, I know, right? she was so terrific. She step by slow step in a very good way, yeah. walked you through several different you know, setups, techniques, yes. with your finished project in mind, how you were gonna get there. I love that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be the birth of indie dyers. Well, speaking of indie dyers, I have one that I love and I'm so excited to share with you guys today. I know. Um, this is Hugh Loco Yarn. We've got a few to show. It's she does so many amazing colorways. We wanted to yeah. really show you a really good sampling of just some of the... Look, she even does tweed, which I love tweed. Right. Especially for fall. Tweed makes me think of fall. So um, this is Nicole Clark, uh, Hugh Loco Yarn. She's a local dyer in Loveland, Colorado. She's an amazing speckle dyer and of course variegateds and tonals. She's done some Grocery Girls colorways that of course are near and dear to our hearts. This one right here is actually called Grocery Girls. She did it in a gray base with all these speckles that are our favorite colors. I know because we always talk about gray. And hot pink and turquoise she and lime it. green and I feel like that was really, really fun. So these four over here were a recent purchase for me. Some newly launched colorways for her for summer. But can't you see a combination of any of these? Oh yeah. In a summer project? Yeah. Especially, I'm really crazy about this wild neon-y, it's called No Way Jose. Her, her names are really, really cute. I know. And she's recently done a a line based on breeds of chickens. Cause at home she's got backyard chickens. And so she's been dyeing these really, really cool sets that actually look like the chicken colorways of I their know. feathers. It's really, really fun. Okay, we have one more little special item from Nicole that we would love to share with you. Yes, yes, absolutely. So these again are ones that she has, um, she's done up. These are called tightly knit sets. Um, and she's got right on the label, the Grocery Girls and Hugh yeah. Loco. Um, these were inspired by the girl from the grocery store shawl and Nicole did a set oh called Little Sister, which is this one in Jody's favorite colors and Big Sister, which is this one in my favorite colors. We didn't pick these colors. No. She picked them based on, you know, listening to us babble on each week on our uh -huh. podcast. And I actually don't think I would have, no, I know I wouldn't I change wouldn't, a thing. Not a thing. She does a beautiful merino cashmere nylon base. She does. Super squishy. So that was our favorite things this week. All things yarn. Yes. From the professional yarn dyeing at home class here at Craftsy. Serena Manos to Uruguay Yarn. And of course, our lovely Nicole Hugh Loco, all her colors. We hope that some of our favorite things become your favorite things. Yeah. We are so excited to have an in-studio guest today. This is like demo time. It's like arts and crafts time. I'm so excited. This is Sun Meyer. Sun is the yarn production manager here at Craftsy, and she's all things knitting. All things. Craftsy classes, yep. patterns, you name it. Sun does it. She's amazing. Queen of all knitting things. That's what I'm going to call you. Thank so you. So Sun <laughs> is here today to show us some dye at home techniques. Okay, son, t talk to us about maybe some of the things we need to think about before we actually start. Okay, so we took the yarn and pre-treated it off camera. Okay. It was soaked in um, one gallon of water, 
to a third of a cup of citric acid. Okay. And that'll just make the yarn ready to accept the dye. And it's still nice and warm, so it's ready to, uh, to take the dye in. We're gonna go ahead and use these shakers and we're gonna be shaking an acid fast dye straight onto the yarn. Are there some safety things we should maybe talk about before we get to this point? Yes, okay. so we definitely want to do this in a well-ventilated area. Okay. Anything that we use for dyeing, we don't wanna use for food. Okay. Got it. Also, we wanna wear a mask when we're doing this. Like Hard to hear guys. us talk, just yeah, like that. Like these guys. And gloves, always wear your gloves. Yeah, so don't do this at home without a mask. So I love this, this idea that we're in summer and you know, this would be something you could do outside on the picnic table, right? Oh, absolutely. This is a good outdoor thing. So, yeah. you know, nice breezy, you don't have to do in the house, you don't have to make the kitchen messy, right? Great for that burner on the grill. Yes, you can absolutely do that. So we are gonna make speckled yarn today, which is one of my favorite things in life is a beautiful speckled yarn, right? So you're gonna give us some tips and tricks on how to make a beautiful speckled yarn at home. Yes. Okay. So we sprayed down our yarn with denatured alcohol and water okay. in a 50-50 solution, and that'll make our speckles stay speckly. And now we're gonna go ahead and so, we're just gonna salt shaker this onto got our it. yarn. Perfect. So these are just good old run of the mill, shaker, whatever kind these of These you can find have. at the dollar store, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And I'm so glad I wore white. Oh yeah, because you're the neatest person I've ever met. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so son, do I just like go to town? Like my aesthetic, if I like lots of lots of speckles, um, speckles all over. Yep, absolutely. So do there's no right and wrong. There's no right and wrong, and everything's gonna turn out a little bit differently than it looks here. We do want to spread the yarn out so you get speckles everywhere. Okay. And then we'll flip it over and just double check that we have speckles where we want them. Okay. But go, go. I love it. So you just get to pick your favorite color and do it. Yeah. Okay, this is so fun. I, I love a heavy speckle. I'm starting with fuchsia because I don't know why, but I love a good hot pink, especially for speckles. Oh, look at it. When it gets wet, it's already turning color. And what's your idea? Like, I feel like I've used too much already. What's going no, on No, not at all. No? Use as much as you want to. Okay. The only one to be a little bit careful on is the gold. Okay. Because we don't want things to turn brown. Okay, I was gonna say, because now I wanna layer other colors and I don't want it to be like a muddy color. So, yep. Jody, what are you using? More is more. More is more? I don't know, black. Then keep going. Okay, I like black. This one is purple. I feel like I wanna use every color. <gasps> Whoops. So, can we just mention that these bare skeins are available in a 10 pack for you to purchase so you can do this sort of thing at home? Wouldn't this be a fun little party? Wouldn't oh, it this be, be fun? totally fun? Get your dye on. Then we want to look at the backside, and this backside is looking pretty white. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip it, okay. and that's why we have all the plastic to kind of hold the dye together. So, just, okay. just going to make it better. Oh my goodness. And then just kind of open it up again. So Ooh. we're trying to get the most coverage possible. Look at the back. Okay, okay. were we gonna spray this again, son, with the alcohol or no? We need yes. to. Let's go ahead and spray it again with the alcohol. Okay. Okay. I okay. love that tip. You know what? Jody and I like to play with we've played with a little bit of dyeing, but I've never heard that tip about this alcohol. So I love that's something totally different and new for me. Oh, this is gonna Ooh, be that's so fun. So pretty. So once we're done, we'll go ahead and steam it in a, um, a canning pot for about an hour. We'll add a little water to the pot and about three skeins at a time for each layer. We'll put in a five gallon canning pot, which we have and we can show people how it like wraps okay, up. Okay, okay. And we'll wrap these just in brown paper or an old grocery bag that's paper. It's not gonna be in, in the, the water, steamer. it's gonna be above. It'll be in the steamer. And that'll just keep your gold off of my black a little bit. It's okay. not totally perfect, but it works. Okay. And then we'll steam it. Then once it's done steaming, we'll wash it and use a little bit of um, citropol or soak to get the extra dye out. Okay. And then we'll let it dry. And so when we use this canning pot, it is now a dyeing pot. When we use the canning pot, it is now it's a dyeing pot. It's not a canning pot anymore once we've dyed yarn. No. Nope. Okay, good really? tip. Okay, before you put that in then, son, I just wanna show them what we've done in here. So you put about an inch of water, not yeah, quite. Yeah, there'll be like an inch and a half of water okay. before we go to steam. Okay, we've put in a steaming rack because we don't want it directly in the water. Right. This is a steamed process. Yes. Okay. We want the heat and a little steam is good. Perfect. Okay. 
the paper is just for the barrier. It doesn't have to be completely right encased. It's just so we're not smashing just so color. it's not smushing up against your neighbor's colors. Perfect. Yep, and, and the paper is going to get wet as it yeah. steams, sure. and that's totally fine. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to cover it. We're going to steam it for how long? Just right. get it simmering and okay. then just leave it covered for about an hour. And this Perfect. could totally be on your barbecue. Yeah. And you've got your feet up and you've got iced tea or whatever, and you're just waiting for your yarn to set. And then you said, give it a really good rinse with soak and dry it and you're ready. Yeah, just hang it out over the line. You're and all then good to go. Custom, fabulous, indie, I speckled love yarn. That. We get to dye a few more. We do get to dye a few okay, more. Okay, let's do this again. Son, this was so much fun. I love crafts. I love getting dirty. And this was the perfect combination. I love the demystification. Like you said, you can't go wrong. Yeah. There's, you know, if you do your preparation and the easy steaming, you're going to get an awesome, beautiful, one of a kind skein of yarn. And I just love that. Thank so, you so much for having me. Are you kidding yeah. me? You need to come back often. We would love to have you anytime. At the end of the episode, we're going to show you guys our final rinsed, dried, beautiful skeins of yarn. I can't wait to see them. I was in a parade when I was, I don't know, maybe four. I was a mermaid. I remember being traumatized. I remember thinking it was really embarrassing. I was super fat. They never asked me to be a mermaid. <laughs> Let's get into our pattern parade today for our summer yarn episode because there's so many beautiful patterns that we've got and I think yeah. you can do them in all kinds of fun fibers. And let me show you the first one that I've got going on okay. here. This is the over the sea to sky shawl, which I love. So and this th was in our flip this stitch. It was actually my first time knitting with <gasps> Pima cotton. And now this one is by Kalura Hudson did this one. And I was probably not a big cotton knitter at the time, but this yeah. cotton, made it beautiful it is really it's a dk weight so it's not too heavy and so obviously pretty. the cotton's going to be really really cool to wear in the summer and the lace you know lace is lighter for the summer you know when the sun goes down you do really need something around your shoulders someday so i think this is great sure when i first saw this fiber um, knit up yes i thought it had maybe a little bit of silk in it I from know. the sheen so it's actually mercerized cotton and yep. i'm not sure exactly what they do to it to make it mercerized but that ends up being a really shimmery sheen on your fabric and it is still just 100 percent cotton it's not adding any any other fibers in there. So, okay. big favorite. I love this one. Big favorite. Yeah. Okay, this. I want to have a baby so I can have this. You always want to have a baby, which I is why do. I keep buying puppies and things like that. I do. Okay, you guys, this, this is the Baby Bell cardigan. It's gorgeous. What? By Rebecca Burcompass. Okay. Well, I look at this and I've got so many things already that I love about it. I love the seed stitch on the borders. I think that gives it a gorgeous little finishing quality to it mm -hmm. and I love the gathered pockets look how cute that is oh, so cute this is um also knit in pima cotton but how cute is this for your little one or a gift if you don't have any little ones in your lives oh. we usually always know a neighbor or um you yeah. know a girlfriend having a baby I and just I, think... I do love baby knits for the summer because they're really quick and portable and then if you do the sweater in a fiber like this it's going to be they can wear it right away. So you can have this option where it's just a band with no buttons, but the pattern, yeah. the pattern also um, has the option so you can have a button band here with little teeny buttons. I'm looking at this and thinking it even maybe looks like linen stitch. It's really cute. It is I beautiful. love it. I love the way that looks. Okay. Love it. If we're going to be talking about kids stuff, I want to show you this one. Yeah. This is the lollipop skirt and it's again by Rebecca Burcompass. So she did the little cardigan and I love this one for so many reasons. First of all, it's super fun with all the colors, which I really You could love. really have fun with color. You can. Yeah. You, and I mean, as knitters, we have part balls of, of yarn at home. So this is a really one fun way to use their favorite colors or stripe things up. Well, kids love like sometimes strange combinations yes. or rainbow or the hottest pink you'll never knit with. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's made out of the sprightly acrylic yarn, which to me is the perfect thing to be knitting for kids that kids period. Yeah. I was going to say kids that are active, kids period. They can go to the park. They can go crazy I for agree. kids on the go. Plus. I how cute is the skirt? Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, so my next um, one is Old Toll Road. This is a real showstopper for me. By Romy Hill. So beautiful. But you know what's super fun about this? So Romy Hill does an ebook, and this she designed with a mashup of a little bit of each pattern. Um, I believe it was seven, so a little bit of each of the seven patterns in one. That's so beautiful. Can we just spread this out so we can show everybody this lace? Look how gorgeous this is. I think this is beautiful. And it's a rectangular shape, 
which I think is really, really easy to wear. And I lacy, so I think this is a really great thing for summer. So this one is knit out of a wool fingering twist. Mm -hmm. Our weather can turn quite quickly mid-August. Oh, absolutely. Right? And like you said, evenings get chilly. Yeah. So if you've started the day in a tank top or a sundress, and then you're still out, and yeah. you need, this is probably going to be just the perfect I thing. also think substituting this with a cotton, a fingering cotton, or a linen. You could have lots of fun with Blended color choice. Silk. A silk would be beautiful. Yeah. This is stunning. I love this one. Okay. I have another lace shawl that I want to show okay. you. Okay. This one is Gloria by Rita Masson. Okay. This is another rectangular one, which I love. I think that's really easy to wear. Yeah. And so it's, it's not too much coverage, which yeah. we're in summer. This is not too much coverage. And the yarn this one was knit in is an alpaca wool silk blend. Pretty nice. Yummy, basically, right? So it's super soft and squishy. But, but not, not heavy. Not heavy. And we were talking about alpaca being a great fiber for summer. And it's actually kind of a hollow fiber when you're when you're knitting it. And it can either, you know, keep you warm or keep you cool, which is really nice. And silk, of course, gives it that drape. Anyway, it's gorgeous. It's so the stitch pretty. definition is beautiful. I really, pattern. really love this one. And I love a nice little garter edging. I think that's I really love lovely. That. Look at that. Some people don't like their 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 shawls blocked out too heavily. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I the bigger the better for me. Right. But <laughs> I love a heavily blocked lace shawl. I agree. I love if you're gonna knit lace, you definitely have to block it. Show it off. I just think that's so beautiful. And the color. And it's actually, look at the one that's you're wearing. That's my color. Same exact, same exact yarn. I know, I love it. Looks that. incredible. That would look great on okay, you. Okay, I have one more. Okay. This is called Hot Oatmeal. And this is one that I saw as, I mean, there's a process clearly as, you know, we're planning and, uh, you know, for each episode. Yes. And as we're going through, this is one that caught my eye that I really wanted to knit myself. This, I can't, I just yeah. want to, I wish there was squish a vision because this yarn is crazy soft. I know. So this is the Hot Oatmeal Shawl by Jenny Feifel, and it is so beautiful. Look at this. But look at the edge. It's like little picots along the cast yeah. off edge, and it's got this amazing lace pattern. And it's really fun because it's not just straight lace, and that's, I need something to keep my interest. I, I need some bit of change. Totally. So they've taken the same sort of stitched lace pattern and they've put it at different lengths. Sometimes you're doing several rows, sometimes you do two rows. Yeah. So you're not getting bored, but it's also not one of those things I think that are too taxing. I think this would be a lovely relaxing summer knit. And the yarn that it's in is the baby alpaca fingering. I also think that this is an excellent summer knit because it's so lacy. Yes, You're I not agree. gonna feel like you're wearing a big heavy shawl. It kinda shawl. hits all the points. It's lacy, it's yeah. the alpaca, it's nice and light and airy. Perfect for summer. Okay, so that was our pattern parade. We, we hope that you have found something that you're gonna wanna knit this summer. Okay, so you guys saw us do a little dye at home experiment yes. here, and we have we, um, the dry yarn. We have the yarn. finished product through we the do. magic of off our needles. We are dying to show you guys how ridiculously awesome these are. And look at this. I mean, how easy was that? I love those. Right? So this was so fun. And we had talked about um, when we were actually doing it, you really can't judge a yarn by its cover True. when you're dying at home True. until you do the steam or whatever method you're using and then do the rinse. It's so fun. So I'm thrilled. I can't wait to cast these guys on and make something fabulous. That was so much fun. Thank it was you, great. son. It was great. Thank yeah. you. I hope she comes back. I know. Wouldn't that be great? So we had so much fun sharing with you our favorite summer yarns, our favorite summer um, projects. Yeah. And I really wanted to let you guys know about this beautiful ebook that you can yep. download for free. It's choosing and using the perfect yep. yarn every time. So it is an ebook. It's you guys. huge, you guys. It's a giant resource. Yeah. And it's going to really help walk you through the certain yarns and projects and pros and cons. And I think it's really something everybody should have in their little library of, of yarny things. And you're going to be able to find the link to that in the description box below. Of course, it was with all the other links that we're going to provide you with with everything we talked about today. And we would love to hear about your favorite summer yarn in the comments. That would be amazing. I'm always looking for new yarns. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. That would be amazing. Till next time. Happy knitting, you guys.